Okay, so we're really starting to rock and roll with this model. Um, now we're going to get and start to um, define the shapes and try and get the structure to um, hold the kind of metal plates. Um, if you can see, I've already started to to do some little tests on little areas to define them. And basically, the only two tools I'll be using for this part of it, probably apart from the move tool, will be the H polish brush, which you can find under pr brushes, and just hit H, and you'll get the H polish brush. And the other brush that you'll be using will be the smooth brush, which is a modifier key, which is the shift key on your keyboard. And these are the only two that I'm really looking at. Now again, essential to use the graphics tablet just because of the pressure sensitivity. We don't want to polish all of this stuff back. I really like this uh, kind of grunged look, although on the initial illustration and uh, my elevations, it's all quite smooth. But actually looking at the illustration, you know, it's quite rugged. There's nothing to say that it has to be absolutely smooth. So I'm bearing that in mind as well. And what we'll do is we'll basically get this model to these kind of stages. Then we'll, uh, what we would do is we would output um, just a, a basic render from ZBrush to send to our creative director and ask him if it's if it's okay with that kind of structure before we move on and define things further and create the base plating. So that's what we're kind of going to do. That's our pipeline as we see it. So let's get on and show you basically how I'm going to create these kind of these areas. Let's start with down here and in fact I can see straight away that I'm going to need to still clay tube a little bit of this out. So I'm going to go back to my clay tubies and I'm going to make sure that my brush size is a little bit smaller down here and I'm just going to simply come in and just start to define this as I'm going. So we'll start with this one and then maybe this one and then this one here which is going to basically shouldn't come down this far but it's outlining the navel um, but that doesn't matter and then I'll put in the other one which is kind of kind of come underneath our rib cage area and I'll give him a nice structure to hold the um, plates when they go on so there we have it have a look at him yep that's quite good and now I'm going to go back to my H brush and I'm going to use the smooth tool at about 20% just come in here smooth out these little edges anything that looks a little bit odd come down here now and there as well and now I'm going to just start to use my polish brush over the top now it works really well at high resolution which I'm not on so I'm actually going to subdivide this one more which makes a hell of a difference because, but it also cranks my size up from half a million to to about nearly two million now but this brush will now work really well so here we go so just defining the top areas if you like you could even press the control key and mask this out if you don't want to juncture into any of those lines you can use this key just to mask around which I'm going to do here I don't really want to knock on to any of the other areas so I'm going to just come around and just start to mask that out. Now I can move back to this quite confidently, start to crank the size up a bit more. I want to polish it off completely, and in fact I could even do with 